Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm breaking down how I color graded this old wine commercial we did recently and I used the answer for this old grade. If you don't have the answer, that's not the end of the world. You can use Film Look Creator on Resolve or just a little bit tweak here and there and you can achieve something similar to this. And a quick note, I am not a pro colorist, but this is just me colorading my footage by myself just because I have no budget to hire a pro colorist to color grade this footage for us because this is a spec ad. So before I dive into how I achieved this look, let me give you a backstory on what camera I used and what filter I had on my lens. So I shot this entirely on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K full frame in open gate most of the time and I shot on B-roll, I think 12x1 or 8x1 compression but I, go, I went to the lowest compression because this is a spec card at the same time I'm shooting on 6K and I believe I will be able to get outstanding results from it. So I shot that in B-roll and I paired it with the Helios 44 2 lens. I love those swirly look from the lens and there's no other time to try it out than a spec commercial. So I took it out with the guys and we were able to achieve all of this just in one day. So let's dive down into it and see how we achieve this look right from start so i have five notes and one thing about me is i love to simplify my project i love to simplify my grades i've seen tons of videos on youtube about how to color grade and most of them are 14 15 16 notes for starters or for beginners that might be quite intimidating so i often prefer to simplify it for myself so so i don't like complicate things so i have five notes here and that's most likely how i yes i often go except i want to do some crazy stuff that i can now go 15 10 or something but for basic stuff i don't really pass beyond this also the reason behind this look is that i actually want a look that is not too filmic, not grainy, not too moody. I want something happy. This is all about wine and this is all about someone enjoying herself by herself and is meant to be happy. She's meant to be happy. So I don't want it to look down and I don't want it to look down and moody, contrasty. I just want it to look soft, very colorful. And thank God we had a good weather that day in the UK. Having the sun and a blue sky is a very rare thing. So I'm grateful to God we got that sky that day and we we're able to get this right on set. So with all that being said, let's dive down into how I achieve this look. So I'm going to disable all of the nodes. So this is the before and this is the after. So quick breakdown i edited everything using the answer and i'll quickly go through all of this in a couple of minutes if you want a deep dive video about how i use the answer maybe leave a comment in, in the comment section and i can create a video on how to use the answer or i can even create a comparison between the answer and the davinci resolve film look creator so let's go straight into i input my camera black magic 6k and i often use kodak vision 350d or any of these other two but i'm using this for this particular shot i'm not using film developer film compression i have that on expand after on prints after on kodak and dura glossy paper and film grain no elation after on but i had to take down my look at vision to the lowest possible point just because i don't want the red highlights all over 
face this is not like a film look kind of great so i think that's all and then i added vignette at the end that's all i did on that the answer the next thing i did was the exposure curve which i added nothing much just a little bit curve here and there just bring this overall exposure down a little bit and taking the eye like just a tad i just create that s curve and i reduced the detail to about 24.5 just because i want that soft commercial look nothing too complex nothing too sharp or too contrasty so i'm going for that and that's all then i brought down the highlights to about minus three five and that's that for the the next thing i did was the color looking for the plants is still looking a little bit flat so i did some tweak here and there under hue and saturation so i went to my hue versus hue curve select the green point i mean select the 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 yellow points then i brought them down a little bit just to get that perfect look then i increased the saturation of that as well as the saturation of the sky and i think that's all i did under that before and after so i think i increased the saturation by two just by two and i went to skin on that skin so at the moment it's looking like the skin is not popping and the wine itself is not popping and that's the main idea behind this whole thing so i don't want the green and the flower behind to take the whole glory of the whole shot so i added a little boost to the skin and this is before and this is after so and all i did was go to the new color slice page on resolve 19 and i increased that by just 0 0.45 ish so just just a little bit and as you can see the effect is very nice right on the skin and the last thing i did was just to adjust my my sky at the same time the the color of the modest clothes is white initially and it's already looking bluish so i adjusted that with this node and before and after before and after so that's all i did under this grid and this is the overall before and after before and after before and after before and after so if i'm to like show you the rec 709 version of the will be something like this so this is rec 709 version of this shot so and this is my final grid so rec 709 and the b-roll rec 709 and final grid so let me know what you think about this in the comment section what do you think do you think this is perfect you need this need more adjustment here and there but this is how i grade my footage like i said i don't want to make it i don't want to make it complicated for myself just five notes even at times i use three notes and there are times that i need to go extreme that i need to use like 10 of if the need calls for it i will use more notes but at, at this point i'm not doing something extreme just just to get the right balance in between all of it and you don't need to have a note tree of 15 14 notes most of the time so this is a simpler way of like getting a good look for your commercial shot so um that's all i have to say if you find this educative or interesting please do it to like this video and put down a comment in the comment section and that's all for today and i will catch you in the next video bye